told you I was hurt I could never keep it clean with you I'm out here doing dirt Thought I told you love was unemployed I knew we won't gon' work What's good? It's your boy Rashad back at another video and today we're doing a Drake versus Kendrick Lamar round one it. We're gonna do about stand up clinching ground. Stand up is jabs, witty lines, and prideful lines like hey I'm better than you, you'll never reach the top, you'll never get my money that I get, blah blah blah. They clinch they clinch would be disrespectful slash alright, where are you getting to? Or alright, I see, alright now you getting a little too spicy, but not too spicy. You know what I'm saying? And then the ground game would be facts that's proven by the internet. I have a whole bunch of speculation that will make you believe this. Or it's just beyond disrespectful, bro. We're going to actually go by the order that it came out. Push-ups. Let's go. We're going to do stand-up. My pictures on y'all wall when y'all in the studio. That's a heavy hitter right there. Pip squeak pipe down. Just to talk to you, I had to hype down. That's a nice bar, but not heavy hitting. That's the difference between Mike then and Mike now. Nice bar, not a heavy hitter. Talking like I'm 50. When you say you talking like you 50, you is definitely disrespecting your opponent because coming off like you 50 is very detrimental. 50 put motherfuckers in the dirt. So to say that you coming off like you 50, and talking your shit and then to get approved by 50, that shit was fire. Um, I don't care what Cole think, that dot shit was weak as fuck. Nice bar, not a heavy hitter, but it's good. Top want to piece it up, top want to piece it up. Now, it sound like, you know, y'all know that Kendrick is usually about peace and war at the same time. You know, complex motherfucker, but he's saying that y'all, you know, Y'all want to piece this shit up now. Y'all want to do this and that and the third. Um, just poking fun at him. And then, you know, we got another heavy hitter in the striking game where he said begging Casanet, but they ain't going to allow They're going to gatekeep that shit. You know what I'm saying? Only only Drake gang can do that. Um, this ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. That's a hard line, too. That's a, that's a heavy hitter, too, in the striking game, right? All right, so then we're going to go to the clinch, right? These are the clinch the clinch lines that I have. All right. Top said, drop and give me 50. He's taking 50% of all royalties from um, Kendrick. Um, the contract split again, same same difference, right? But you, uh, what are you doing splits with your pants, my rip? Now, this is where it really gets spicy and heavy right here on the um, clinch game. Sizzle got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Saying that they're better than Kendrick Lamar. Now, I know most of the masses would not agree with that. Now, I probably won't agree with that. But the fact it's disrespectful and a heavy hitter for the simple fact that you know damn well they are not better than Kendrick Lamar with that pen. But it's a diss record. Sometimes you got to add some shit in. So there you go. Heavy hitter in the clinch again. What's a prince to a king? You're a son, nigga. You're my son. He's saying, Kendrick, you're my son, bro. All right. We'll find out if your baby mama kiss and tail or something like that. It's just a heavy hitter. So now we're about to get into the ground game. I'm saying the side seven men's on. It's beyond disrespect for the simple fact that if you are a grown man, and you're under the height of what, like five seven and down, and you have small feet or anything um, that a female would usually have characteristics of or physical features of. You are looked down upon by the masses, or at least made of a joke. So, even though I explained all of that, it is not a hard hitter, unfortunately. But the what the fuck is this a twenty v one nigga? That is definitely a heavy hitter. Um, it's proven fact that there's a lot of people going against Drake right now anyway. So it is a 20 V1. And then another grappling take. Bodyguards with me like Whitney. If y'all don't know, that is Kendrick Lamar's wife in the alleged rumor going around that one of Kendrick's sons is not his. It's actually one of the bodyguards or the general or or his general manager's son. One of those, either the bodyguard or the general manager's child, and not actually Kendrick. 
So now we actually gonna switch over to Taylor Made. I'm gonna start with the grappling first. Bringing Tupac back from the dead, going against another West Coast dude, has to be vile, bro. Um, I can't say whether that's positive vile or negative vile. Um, me personally, but at the same time, it's a very strategic move. It's a very petty move. And if you guys don't know, Kendrick Lamar actually had an interview or he said some, some, somewhere years ago that he was dreaming one day and Tupac told him that he's next uh, for the West Coast scene. So, you know, the passing of the torch, that's a heavy hitter, though, trying to, you know, just bringing that Tupac voice out. In a rap beef, knowing that that's one of K Dot's favorite rappers, or you know he idolized him growing up. Um, and then another grapple is Dot. Uh, we know Dot struggling in that New York apartment. I think that's wild because, and it's a heavy hitter because like, what if he didn't know? You know he didn't want the world to know that he lives in New York somewhere. Cause people are weird, you know what I'm saying. So, I feel like. That's why that's foul, right? So let's get into the striking. Um, bringing in Snoop Dogg, I feel like it's less foul than the Tupac thing. Snoop Dogg's still alive. It's just one of those weird things where, like, he's really just poking fun at his street cred and how it's really his homies, and he never been in jail. Kendrick we're talking about. Um, death slaps. Uh... And then he said something about yeah, he had a bowel move and he's shitting on people. I feel like that slap. Um, this is one of the heavy hitters in the striking lane. Taylor Swift making Kendrick wait to drop something because she got to approve of it. it. was a very, very maniacal way of explaining that. And uh, I think it, I think that was pretty cool. Um, since like that, he's uh, he's not as enthused. How are you not in the booth? two nice little lines there um a heavy hitter was on that part was uh he got to take another four months or a month or a week uh to learn how to improve to even respond so that's kind of nice um definitely a heavy hitter actually ammunition you know he got ammunition uh whenever kendrick dropped he said said that he's out on the loose so that's a threat um but Nonetheless, a regular bar. And then the last strike, he said, um, you know, Dot, we waiting on you. What you about to do? Okay. Then we go to the clinch. Clinch, um, it's just that part where he's like, oh, no, 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 no. Pussy, you got to go through with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you got to you gotta follow up. You got to follow up this time because you didn't follow up that last time, right? So that was a nice little clinch move. Um, and then another clinch, Swift, uh, Taylor Swift is the biggest gangster in a rap game. Knowing that that's, this whole song uh, mainly is about Kendrick, he just said that Taylor Swift is more gangster than this dude. And he he's from L.A. He's from Compton. I thought that was maniacal, man. I really did. Um, so we're we're gonna tally, we're gonna tally these things up, man. And right now, in the striking, uh, the striking category, Drake has eighteen strikes. He has seven clinch, and he has five grappling submission slash you know whatever. Um. No, he has, yeah, he has five, right? So now we're going to get on K-Dot, Euphoria. And we're just going to start with the striking. He starts off by saying how Drake is less powerful when the people is not behind him as much. Um, you got to remember he's an actor and he's doing a whole bunch of antiquing and not really rapping for real. Um... He said, once a lame is always a lame. That's a nice bar. Um, a heavy hitting bar is how he feel like Drake disappointed Tupac and made him turn over in his grave. Um, 
you know, Drake being in his feelings and don't want to work with K-Dot no more, which might be true, which why we haven't got a poetic justice type song in a minute. Um, we do got fucking problems, but, you know, uh, a heavy hitting line again where K-Dot says three goats are only left, but two of them kissing and hugging on stage. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, let's see. Uh, fuck push a P. How about you push a T? I felt like that was a great one. That was a heavy hitting one. Um, and then he went on this rant about the 10 things he hated about Drake and stuff. Um, they were good bars, but nothing, nothing really I would consider heavy hitting. Then he says he doesn't have a classic. I thought it was a good line, but, um, far as the beef, but I don't feel like it holds up anything. But when he gets to the fake abs, Tell him where you got your abs from. Yeah, that one right there. That one right there is... I, I feel like it's hard, man. I feel like it's hard. It's like BBL Drizzy, you know? That's what they were saying, so... um, You gonna get your head shot walking around like Daft Punk? That was nice. You stole Yachty swag? That was nice. As long as you keep making me dance, wave my hands, and there won't be no threat... He's just telling Drake to stick to the pop and the R&B and don't, don't, don't get into this rap shit. Um, that was nice. Uh, and then he brought up how he signed, uh, how Drake is signed to Wayne, who is signed to Baby, and Baby is signed to Universal. So, like, Drake somewhere down the line is splitting uh, revenue, too. Uh, and then two heavy hitting lines back to back. More than one just line, but the section where he's using the Toronto lingo. I want to put all that together because it's like a run on sentence. And then the section where he says, fuck Drake and all the associates and anybody in the industry that is fucking with Drake. That right there. Those those two sections were heavy. Um, then we're going to go to the clinching. Um, Some about, you know, Hill figure, but FUBU was never your collection. That is a hit culturally saying that he's not really fully black and he don't understand the struggle he's going off of that tangent and then um he knows some shit that gonna wanna that'll make gonna wanna uh look like a saint saying that drake is worse than a snitch and then he takes some more culture hits from the song um, and then he said that he can't believe that Drake asked for a feature, knowing that they got some shit to address. I feel like that was good. Um, he hate when Drake say the word nigga. That was crazy. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, heavy hitting bar. When you sit by Sexy Red, I believe you see two bad bitches. That was definitely a heavy clinch move. Um, and then we're going to go into the grappling ground game um i make music that electrify them you make music that pacify them um we ain't gonna get into that but y'all know the pedo 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 allegations okay another heavy hitting on the grappling your dad is a killer and you want to be junior fake gangster so that's a heavy hitting one. He hoped they're real friends, but if not, then he just Y and he's gonna Y and W, melly them. This is disrespectful, and a and a heavy hitting bar on all levels. Y and W Melly is fighting for his life, and these people keep referencing him like he's he's done it and he's proven not to be guilty at the time, to my knowledge. So uh, he's catching strays, but he also is telling Cole and Drake, uh, Kendrick is telling Cole and Drake, like, hey, man, y'all don't want it. Um, and another grapple move is when he does the Debbie allegations. It, they're good, but it's like, I'm not going to count. I'm not going to just keep, you know, counting the things that they repeat. You know, when it, when we come up with, as we go out in uh, later rounds, when things pop up again, we're not going to count them as much. The 1v20, you know, Kendrick against him, Drake and the Ghost Riders, I thought that that was pretty funny. And that's definitely a heavy hitter. And so that's Euphoria. We're going to go into the 616 in L.A.
the the front part of this song is good this is more angelic i just like the second half okay okay so when he's the song starts to me as far as a diss track when he gets to act being a d-rider for drake and he even act is conflicted and doesn't want to say that drake is is losing or gonna lose you know what i'm saying i count it as a grappling move but it's nothing like too crazy i guess i'll go into the strikes you know he was jabbing when he said cash didn't leak it and then he said you can't twisty slide out of this one i think that was cool every dog has its um purpose so those two lines are playing on either a song or an album from drake which is cool when you try to figure out that you're not alone just figure out what mike would do that was good that was good so that's the striking department on this song um the only heavy hitting thing on this song uh that i take from is like did you ever think that ovo was working for me that part is the hardest part man and then he goes in on a tangent about how the team, how the, you know, the squad isn't really with him because you got leaks in your operation. Um, and then Drake, you know, manip manipulating uh, the social media, you know, putting all these posts out. I mean, he feel like Drake is manipulating the masses. But so in round one, with the striking overall, Kendrick got 19 with the clinch. Kendrick got 11 with the ground game, the grappling. Kendrick got seven. K Dot wins in this MMA bout if it's 10 years ago. But here's the thing I didn't mention. If you know how MMA rules are going down by now, then you would know damage trumps a lot, especially when it's not a clear knockout. I don't feel like this round is a clear knockout. They got one banger and then they got one where it's like warning shots on how it could get worse you know what i'm saying like can we all just agree that 616 in la and and taylor made should have been just songs that they made it shouldn't have been like this part of the, the feud that's going on I may, am i the only one maybe i am y'all make sure y'all comment if y'all agree with those two songs just being songs in the grappling state of things we get four out of five heavy hitting out of the grappling category for drake we get four out of seven with k dot same category grappling okay then we go to the clinch out of the seven only four really really hit only four really, really hit for Dre. Out of 11 clinch, only four really, really hits for K-Dot. So now it comes down to the striking. K-Dot is already up at least seven points off of the old rules, which was plain and simple. You just had to be up and have those numbers and those landed shots. But this is damage, and it came down to the striking. And with the jabs being thrown, KDOT has six of them powerful things, and Drake got seven. That was just damage. I feel like it's really just... Ooh, like one of those moments y'all at the lunch table and you really say something mean or whoever's rapping really say something that's so bad that the whole table just like ooh, like you can't skip past that one without addressing that one you know what i'm saying and drake wins by damage not by the numbers because if we just go on bars and bars and bars and bars i'm pretty sure K dot got him a couple of numbers and it's not like a blowout it's not like a blowout but it's this close so if i'm not mad if anybody round one and we're doing this like how it came out two songs two songs if you go K dot way it's it, it's it's an argument because this is very close with the damage on it's very close. He got seven out of eighteen damage, damage, uh, damage shots for Drake, and then Kada got six out of nineteen. This is what I have for the round one. 
I know I'm a little behind. I'm going to catch it up. But I'm just saying, man, like it's closer than what y'all think. If you think it's just like a landslide on either side, you are just a biased fan. I don't think y'all should be biased. I don't think y'all should be biased. But also, do y'all like my format? And were you guys able to keep up with it? If not, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But just let me know, like, do y'all like this format? And if so, I can keep it going for this next round. So, yeah, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Let me know if y'all agree down in the comment section. I just, it, it took me a little while to make this. It took me a little while to write this. I wrote this down, man. I wrote it down on mail paper. That's how I know I was dedicated to doing this. Family matters versus meet the grams. Stay tuned. Peace, love, prosperity. I'm out. Peace. Don't go, 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 don't go